Hi guys, welcome to the Ultimate Pilates Total Myofascia Massage Program. This is the system I personally use for muscle detoxification, for relaxation and to assist with toning as well. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Okay guys, before we get started, I just want to run through a couple of little explanations that are going to help you through this program. Um, so, especially with the legs um, routines, what you'll probably find is that your hands are going to start to get a little tired. So if they do, what we can do is we can go from this shifted um, hips up position, you can actually drop your hips down and you can continue the um, activity from there. Um, the other option is if you want to keep your um, hips lifted to keep your weight on your legs, you can actually drop down to your elbows. That's another way of doing that. Um, to take the pressure off your hands, another good piece of advice would be to make sure that you're holding out. So let's not hold this way, let's not hold the opposite way because as you roll back and forth, you're going to put pressure on your wrists. Let's try and hold it to the side that way. Another point I want to make um, in relation to weight distribution and intensity is that you can shift all of your weight to one side for majority of these exercises, or you could actually spread it so it's on both sides, which basically means you've got half the pressure. I'll give you a quick demonstration. So right now I've got the roller at my Achilles. What I can do is I can actually put one foot over, and as I lift, all the pressure's on my right side. Now, if I'm finding that that's a little bit too much for me, what I can do is I can actually have my legs um, at shoulder width, just a part like that. If I lift from here, it's about half the pressure because I've got equal pressure on the right as I do um, with the left. During this program, we'll use a foam roller to work through your legs. What we'll do for this one, guys, we're going to work on our Achilles. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my Achilles in and I'm going to get set up. So I'm going to put all my pressure on my right side at this uh, stage. Adriana's going to go 50-50, so she's got half pressure. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to lift up. I'm going to roll just a little until I find my sensitive spot. For me, it's around about there. And I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to hold it for 30 seconds. Now, after the 30 seconds of holding, I'm going to start to just roll through. We're going to roll through back and forth. We're going to roll for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to turn my foot out. We're going to get outside the Achilles tendon. And what we'll do from here is we're going to roll again. So one and a half minutes holding for the first 30 seconds, turning in for the second lot, and turning out for the third lot. Let's get you guys to try that. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side.
Okay, guys, for this segment, we're going to roll the soleus, which is that um, area just between your Achilles tendon and your calf. It's a really sensitive spot. So what I'm going to do from here, again, I'm going to put all my weight on one side, and I'm going to lift up. I'm going to roll back and forth ever so slightly until I find that spot. There you go. That's right there for me. That's the most sensitive spot. And I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold for 30 seconds. And then what I'll do from here is I'm just going to point my toes right out and push them back in towards me for 30 seconds. Okay? You'll find as you're pointing your toes out, it's going to be really, really sensitive. It's going to hurt quite a lot, but that's going to ease as you continue to do it. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. Staying on the soleus, what we'll do with this next um, activity is that we're going to just twist from side to side. So I've lifted myself right up, I'm twisting inside, and then I'm twisting right out. Now you're going to feel some real crunchy bits under this one as you do it, and work through. It's just going to get easier and easier as you do it. So let's hit that for 30 seconds, and then we're going to stay nice and flat. We're going to roll back and forth. I'm going to roll the soleus for 30 seconds. You can see nice, slow, steady rolls. I want you guys to try it now. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side.
Okay guys, gonna get into the shin for this next one. So you can see what I've done. I've moved the roller to the side. I just want the little corner of it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a three point position. So one, two, three. I'm gonna place my shin right on top of the roller, but you can see I'm rolling in, okay? Now from here, I'm just going to work my way through. I'm going to find my sensitive spot. For me, it's about two thirds of the way up. It's round about there. And once I find that spot, I'm just going to put my weight on it and I'm going to hold for 30 seconds. The next 30 seconds, we're going to roll. So I want to roll all the way through. So I want to try and get sort of as close to my ankle as I can. And I'm going to come to the top and try and get as close to my knee as I can as well. Just like that. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. Okay guys, we're gonna work the calves next. So you can see I've got the roller right in the middle of my calf. I'm gonna set myself up. I'm gonna turn my foot in and I'm gonna pick myself up again. I'm gonna find that sensitive spot. So it's round about there for me. We're gonna hold it there. We're gonna hold it for 30 seconds and then we're gonna roll the calf. I wanna go all the way from my plantaris all the way down to my soleus. So we wanna try and cover the entire calf as we do it. Your turn. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. Thank <laughs> you. 
staying on the calves for this one, guys. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll my foot out. Okay, I'm going to go back up. I'm going to find my sensitive spot. Again, for me, it's around about there. I'm going to hold it there for 30 seconds. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did on the inside. We're going to roll back and forth. We're going to work through that for 30 seconds as well. Your turn. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. Okay guys, for this one, we're gonna work your plantaris, which is that stretch of muscle behind your knee. It's usually a really, really sensitive spot. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get into position. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna find the sensitive spot. For me, it's round about there. I'm just gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds. And then what we'll do straight after that is we're gonna start to work those twists. We're gonna twist in and twist out. You can see I'm keeping all of my weight on one leg and Adriana's actually doing the opposite. She's distributing hers 50-50. So we're gonna work through those. We're gonna come back to the middle for the third lot of 30 seconds and we're just gonna roll back and forth. Roll back and forth straight on that. Your turn. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side.
Okay guys, working the hamstring for this next one. So you can see we're on the side of the roller. I'm gonna go nice and straight with this leg. Now the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna set myself up all my weight on that leg. You can see the way Adriana's done it. She's using her foot for support, so it's only um, half the pressure again. What I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna roll until I find my sensitive spot. That's round about right for me. I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds. And then what we'll do from here is I'm gonna roll all the way through. We're gonna come all the way almost reaching your glutes right there. I'm going to work through for 30 seconds that way as well. Your turn. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. All right, guys, we're going to work your IT band for this next one. So that's that stretch right on the outside. Um, and it goes from your knee and it splits here into your glutes and your TFL. It's a really sensitive spot. So let's work on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop to my elbow. I'm going to get side on. And I can either go into a straight stack like that or I can put one foot over for support, depending on how sensitive you are. Um, now, near the top, there's a real sensitive spot, so I'm gonna find that sensitive spot, and when I find it, for me, it's right there, I'm just gonna sit on it. I'm gonna sit on it for 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna start to roll back and forth, so I'm gonna try and get all the way up. I'm gonna go halfway down, round about there, and I'm gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna do this for 30 seconds. Your turn. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side.
Okay guys, staying on the IT band, we're gonna work the lower half now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the sensitive spot um, just outside of my knee, just like that. There's a real sensitive spot, you're gonna know when you hit it. So I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna hold. And then what I'm gonna do for 30 seconds is I'm gonna roll past it, okay? Just like that. Working the bottom half. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. Alright guys, so working your quadriceps next. So the way we're going to do this is I've brought the roller out to the side and I'm just going to take just one corner of it. I'm going to place my quadriceps on it. I'm going to get down to my elbows like that. Now, I'm going to put all my weight on it. So I'm going to go straight line just like that. You can see Adriana's doing it differently. She's only using half of her weight by using her knees um, to assist her for extra support. So I'm gonna find my sensitive spot, which is round about there for me. And from here, I'm gonna do two lots of rolls. I'm gonna roll the top half, so rolling just this way. Top half of the quadricep for 30 seconds. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work the lower half. So from here, I get all the way down to the top of my knee and coming back up. Um, if you wanna do that with both legs stacked, you can do it that way, or if you want the extra support, then just drop your knee. Your turn.
Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. Okay guys, working the top half of your adductors next. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten both legs out just like that. I'm gonna find my sensitive spot, which is right near my groin, just there. And I'm gonna put some pressure on it. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds. And then what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna roll the top half of my adductor. So just coming out and rolling back, just like that, 30 seconds. Your turn. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. Okay, for this next one, we're gonna work the lower half of your adductor. So I'm gonna find my sensitive spot. I've got a real sensitive spot just outside of my knee, just there. I'm gonna hold on to that, I'm gonna squeeze. I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds. And then for the next 30 seconds, we're gonna actually roll the region. So I'm gonna go from out here to about midway up my adductors and rolling straight back. Your turn.
Okay, guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. Okay guys, working your TFL next, or your hips if you like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lie with uh, my legs straight. You can see my support foot's right in front of me and I can actually even just drop my knee down if I want for a bit of support. Now, there's a real sensitive spot here, so I'm just gonna find that, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds. If you wanna do it from here, that's okay as well. Um, and then what we'll do is we're gonna roll right through. I'm gonna roll for 30 seconds just there. Okay guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. Okay guys, working your glutes next. So you can see I've dropped right back on this one. I'm just creating like a 45 degree angle. You can bring your leg over if you like as well. And what we're gonna do from here is we're just gonna find the sensitive spot. For me, it's around about there, right there. And I'm just gonna hold. I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds. And then what we'll do from here is we're gonna roll right past. Turn.
Okay, guys, let's switch over and work on the other side. effort guys you're finished your mfr massage program for today if you guys can kindly assist us by wiping down your stations that'd be much appreciated thank you